Imagine this, a towering behemoth standing at the edge of the Earth's atmosphere, its engines roaring with the power to break free from the clutches of gravity. A marvel of human ingenuity, rockets are the backbone of space exploration, allowing us to reach beyond our planet and explore the unknown. From the ground-shaking launches of Apollo missions to the sophisticated landings of SpaceX's reusable rockets, the journey of these colossal machines is as thrilling as it is complex. But how do these mechanical giants work? What makes them soar into the sky, defy gravity, and reach the stars? Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey through the science and engineering behind rockets, exploring their inner workings, the magic of propulsion, and the cutting-edge technology that powers our quest for the cosmos. Welcome to Zane Facts Channel, where we uncover the most intriguing and mind-blowing facts about science, history, and beyond. The Basics of Rocket Propulsion At its core, a rocket operates on a simple principle, Newton's Third Law of Motion, which states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. When a rocket expels gas out of its engines at high speed, it generates thrust in the opposite direction, propelling the rocket forward. This is achieved through the combustion of propellant, fuel, and oxidizer in the rocket's engines. The combustion process creates high-pressure, high-temperature gas that is expelled through a nozzle, producing thrust. Interesting Fact 1. The Saturn V rocket, which powered the Apollo missions to the moon, produced a staggering 7.5 million pounds of thrust at launch, equivalent to the power of about 85 Hoover dams. Interesting Fact 2. The temperature inside a rocket engine can exceed 6,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hotter than the surface of the sun. Building a rocket, from blueprints to liftoff. The construction of a rocket involves several key components. One, the structural system. This includes the rocket's frame, skin, and other structures that hold everything together. Materials like aluminum and carbon fiber are commonly used for their strength and lightweight. Two, the propulsion system. This is the heart of the rocket, consisting of engines, fuel tanks, and the necessary plumbing to deliver propellant to the combustion chamber. Three, the guidance system. This includes the rocket's computers, sensors, and control mechanisms that ensure it stays on course. And four, the payload system. This is what the rocket is designed to carry, whether it's a satellite, scientific instruments, or crewed spacecraft. Interesting fact three, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is designed to be reusable, dramatically reducing the cost of space travel. Its first stage can return to Earth and land vertically, ready for another flight. Interesting Fact 4. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched by an Ariane 5 rocket, is equipped with a sunshield the size of a tennis court, which helps keep its instruments cool enough to observe distant galaxies. The Role of Fuel in Rocket Propulsion Fuel is a crucial element in rocket propulsion. The type of fuel used can significantly affect the rocket's performance. Rockets typically use either liquid or solid propellant. One, liquid propellant. These rockets use liquid fuel and an oxidizer. Examples include liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, LH2 slash LOX, or kerosene and liquid oxygen, RP1 LOX. Liquid propellant rockets can be throttled, stopped, and restarted. Two, solid propellant. These rockets use solid fuel and oxidizer mixed together in a solid state. They are simpler and more reliable but cannot be throttled or restarted once ignited. Interesting Fact 5. The Space Shuttle's main engines used liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen, creating a plume of water vapor as exhaust. This made them the only rocket engines that did not pollute the atmosphere. Interesting Fact 6. The SRB's solid rocket boosters used on the Space Shuttle were the most powerful solid rockets ever built providing a combined thrust of 6.6 .6 million pounds at liftoff. Advanced Rockets – Pushing the Boundaries Modern rockets like SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origin's New Glenn are pushing the boundaries of what we can achieve. Starship, for instance, is both the largest and most powerful rocket ever built, designed for missions to Mars and beyond. It's equipped with Raptor engines that use liquid methane and liquid oxygen a combination that offers high efficiency and the potential for refueling on other planets. Interesting fact Starship's fully reusable design aims to make space travel more sustainable and cost-effective. 
Its development is closely watched by NASA, which plans to use it for future lunar missions. Interesting fact, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket, named after astronaut John Glenn, will be able to carry payloads of up to 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit, more than double the capacity of SpaceX's Falcon 9. Rocket Launch Sequence From Ground to Orbit The journey of a rocket from ground to orbit involves several critical stages. First, liftoff. The rocket's engines ignite, generating thrust greater than the rocket's weight, causing it to lift off the ground. Next, max Q. This is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the rocket. The engines throttle down to reduce stress. Then, stage separation. For multi-stage rockets, the first stage burns out and is jettisoned. The second stage ignites and continues the ascent. Finally, orbit insertion. The rocket reaches orbital velocity and altitude, at which point it enters a stable orbit around Earth. Interesting fact, during liftoff, rockets experience a phenomenon known as G-forces with astronauts feeling several times the force of gravity. The Apollo astronauts experienced up to four Gs during launch. Interesting fact. The term max Q represents the point where the dynamic pressure on the rocket is at its highest, and careful engineering ensures the rocket can withstand these forces. Innovations in rocketry, the future is now. The future of rocketry is incredibly exciting with advancements in technology making space more accessible than ever before. Innovations like reusable rockets, three-dimensional printed components, and advanced propulsion systems are paving the way for new missions and discoveries. Interesting fact, three-dimensional printing is revolutionizing rocket manufacturing, allowing companies like Rocket Lab to produce complex engine parts more quickly and at a lower cost. Interesting fact, NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon and establish a sustainable presence there using advanced rockets like the Space Launch System or SLS and lunar landers developed by commercial partners. The global rocket industry leading countries and their achievements. The global rocket industry is a competitive arena with several countries making significant strides in rocket technology. First, the United States, home to NASA, SpaceX, Blue Origin, and other key players, the U.S. is a leader in both government and commercial spaceflight. Next, Russia. With a rich history of space exploration, Russia continues to be a major player with its Soyuz rockets and new developments in the Angara series. Then China rapidly advancing its space capabilities, China has launched missions to the Moon, Mars, and developed the Long March rocket series. Also, Europe, the European Space Agency, or ESA, utilizes Ariane rockets with the Ariane 6 poised to continue Europe's legacy of reliable space access. Lastly, India, the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, has achieved significant milestones with its PSLV and GSLV rockets, including missions to the Moon and Mars. Interesting fact, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy is currently the most powerful operational rocket in the world capable of lifting nearly 64 metric tons to low Earth orbit. Interesting fact, China's Long March 5 rocket is crucial for its ambitious lunar and planetary missions, including plans for a crewed lunar landing in the near future. Conclusion. Rockets are a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of exploration. From the fundamental principles of propulsion to the cutting-edge technology of today's most advanced rockets, We've seen how these incredible machines work and continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. As we look to the future, the sky is no longer the limit, it's just the beginning.